acquisition, and we are about to go storm adamant, I think. So, I think that we have everything ready that we need to, as well as the correct power level. So let's go check the war table and see what we got going on. Thought out loud. You're on. 
on your way out of the guard, and I'm, you trailed off inside, questioning nobles in the middle of the night, wasn't covered in training. Donnan glared at the kid. I'm a city guard, and so are you, recruit. Nobody gets away with murder while we are on duty. Javelin stood a little straighter. What do we do then? The captain wants proof. Donnan smiled. We bring her proof. Liliana has written a note in the margin. The dead magistrate. suggestion is if an assassin killed the magistrate, a word to the crows might tell us who it was that watched the rivals carefully. Or Josephine, we should support the official Kirkwall Guard investigation into this murder. I think we should support the official Kirkwall Guard investigation into the murder because Aveline is my guard captain. And Let us begin. She's one of my favorite side we have alliances observing the deadlock. Stop the war between Navarra and Deventer. Looks like we're too busy on that one. The Serpent of Navarra. Or investigate the ancient laboratory. Something interesting. Investigate ancient laboratory. Nightingale. The last Venatory have left the ancient laboratory in the wake of the Inquisitor's attack. We can be sure secrets have been left behind. Those of the Venatori, the ancient defenders, or both. We should not allow a desert to bury them. Fisher. So Liliana is the only one we can pick right now. And she says, we have agents capable of disarming whatever traps and tricks remain and bringing back valuables. Or we can wait for Josephine. And she says, there are Chantry scholars eager see these ruins. We could salvage artifacts and earn their gratitude all at once. I don't like that. We're going to pick the Inquisitor. And we'll do the Serpent of Navarra. Inquisition agents have uncovered a potential problem in the nation of Navarra. A defender mage by the name of Verili Ver Verilius. Verilius. strange it is for a new advisor to be so closely heated. There is evidence to indicate Virilius is a member of the Venatori. Having the Navarran king under their sway would give the cult a great deal of power and hinder the Inquisition's ability to operate in the north. Colin is all we have for you to use, and he says wait for this advisor to leave the capital, then send a force to ambush and capture him. Kind of like that. All right. Don't even need the other ones. <laughs> okay. So, let's storm Adamant. So, Adamant Fortress has withstood countless dark spawn attacks without failing. The Grey Wardens defending its walls are legendary warriors. To prevent Warden Commander Calarel from raising an army of demons, Inquisition forces will need to see. Adamant Fortress has stood against the Darkspawn since the time of the Second Blight. Fortunately for us, that means it was built before the age of modern siege equipment. A good trebuchet will do major damage to those ancient walls, thanks to our Lady Ambassador. Lady Cyril of Jader was pleased to lend the Inquisition her sabots. They've already delivered the trebuchets. That is the good news. Mm, yes, but what about the None of that accounts for the Wardens summoning a giant demon army. That is the bad news. The Inquisition forces can breach the gate, but if the Wardens already have their demons... I found records of Adamant's construction. There are choke points we can use to limit the field of battle. That's good. We may not be able to defeat them outright, but if we cut off reinforcements, we can carve you a path to Warden Commander Clarell. This will be bloody. Taking this fortress is going to get a lot of good soldiers killed. Our soldiers know the risks, Inquisitor. 
And they know what they're fighting for. It'll be hard fought, no way around it. But we'll get that gate open. It's also possible that some wardens may be sympathetic to our cause. The warriors may be willing to listen to reason, though I doubt they will turn against Chlorel directly. The mages, however, are slaves to Corypheus. They will fight to the death. We've built the siege engines and readied our forces, Inquisitor. Give the word, and we march on adamant. And I'm giving the word. I swear to God, there is always something flying over my house. Like I'm 200% sure that this is a military helicopter. your way in. Best make use of it. We'll keep the main host of demons occupied for as long as we can. Don't take risks. I'll be fine. Just keep the men safe. We'll do what we have to, Inquisitor. Warden Stroud will guard your back. Hawk is with our soldiers on the battlements. He's assisting them until you arrive. There's too much resistance on the walls. Our men on the ladders can't get a foothold. If you can clear out the enemies on the battlements, we'll cover your advance. You got it. Can't you see this is me? 
and see that they survive this. I'll keep the demons off them as best I can.
We are betrayed by the very world we have sworn to protect. The Inquisition is inside, Clarel. We have no time to stand on ceremony. These men and women are giving their lives, Magister. That might mean little in the winter, but the wardens, it is a sacred duty. It has been many long years, my friend. Too many, Clarel. If my sword arm can no longer serve the Wardens, then my blood will have to do. It 
it will. Stop them! We must complete the ritual! to bind the warden commander to a demon. Everyone in this room already knows that. And yes, the ritual requires blood sacrifice. Hate me for that if you must, but do not hate the wardens for doing their duty. We make the sacrifices no one else will. Our warriors die proudly for a world that will never thank them. And then your Tevinter ally binds the mages to Corypheus. Corypheus? But he's dead. These people will say anything to shake your confidence, Clarell. How every major war ever has started. Bring it through! more than my share of blood magic. It is never worth the cost. I trained half of you myself. Do not make me kill you to stop this madness. Be ready with the ritual, Clarell. This demon is truly worthy of your strength. I spared wardens. Listen to me. I have no quarrel with the wardens. I've spared those I could. I don't want to kill you, but you're being used. And some of you know it, don't you? The mages who've done the ritual. They're not right. They were my friends, but now they're like puppets on a string. You cannot let fear sway your mind, Warden Chernoff. He's not afraid. You are. You're afraid that you ordered all these brave men and women to die for nothing. I honor your bravery, my brothers and sisters. But this is not the way. You have been tricked. Yeah. Uh Clarell, we have come so far. You're the only one who can do this. Perhaps we could test the truth of these charges to avoid more bloodshed. Or perhaps I should bring in a more reliable ally. My master thought you might come here, Inquisitor. He sent me this to welcome you. Ah, yes, we love a good dragon.
fireball went into the fader. <laughs> Never noticed that you could see the fear demon in this specific rift. I wonder if you can see it in other ones. Damn this bitch still. She said, I have to load really quick, hold on. You, you've destroyed the Grey Wardens. <laughs> you did that to yourself, you stupid bitch. All I did was dangle a little power before your eyes, and you couldn't wait to get your hands bloody. I love that sound effect of opening the rift. Like the shutter noise. I want to use it in my daily.
Inquisitor used the mark to open another rift. We fell through. I believe we're in the fade. The fade looked much different the last time I was here. The first time I entered the fade, it looked like a lovely castle filled with gold and silks. I met a marvelous desire demon, as I recall. We chatted and ate grapes before he attempted to possess me. Perhaps the difference is that we are here physically. This is no one's dream. The stories say you walked out of the Fade at Haven. Was it like this? Just give me a moment. How should I know? I'm not exactly an authority on the subject. What was it like last time? I don't even remember last time. Well, whatever happened at Haven, we can't assume we're I feel like that wasn't aggressive enough. That huge demon was right on the other side of that rift Eremond was using. But there could be others. In our world, the rift the demons came through was nearby. In the main hall. Can we escape the same way? It's better than staying here. Beats waiting around for demons to find us, right? There. Let's go. Imagine it, to walk in the Fade and survive. So, we survive. Good to know. I didn't even really notice that Cassandra and Varric didn't really get any cutscene time. So 
if I do a rolling draw, if my leaping shot hits, you can use the momentum of your leap to do a stronger draw as you come back to your feet with the next attack. Whenever you make it, it will knock down its target. Or, after striking a target, you re retreat safely into the shadows, so you're going to stealth. I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here because the next part is important to the story and I do not want it to be cut off in the middle of an important section. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a really good sleep if that's what you're here for. Or if not, I hope you are very, 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 very relaxed. Thank you so much.